So, we're going to start some videos on how to do a garden. This is where we're planning on putting our garden this year. And you can see a couple of spots where I've been burning old branches. But you can also see by looking at this ground that there, are, if you look carefully, you will see there's a lot of twigs, some leaves, some grass. That stuff we don't want for a garden, particularly the grass. Now when a farmer plants his field, he turns it over too, but he uses a plow and then a harrow. We're just doing a small garden, not a large field, so we're going to use a rototiller, and I'm going to show that to you now. Now this is a garden tractor. You've probably seen it before in the barn next to our chickens. This garden tractor is much smaller than the real large tractors that farmers use. But just like farmers, the garden tractor, this garden tractor has a trailer attached to it. And what I'm going to do is detach that trailer and put it put on the rototiller. Right now, the tractor looks a lot like those little toy tractors that you play with uh, when you come to Grandma and Grandpa's house and play with Fisher Price, a tractor with a trailer. In just a minute, we're going to put on the rototiller. Now this is the rototiller. And when you look at it, I want you to notice this wheel here. That's going to be important for the rototiller to work. In fact, what I'm going to do is turn this rototiller over so that you can get a good look at what's underneath. Okay. These are the tongs that turn around and dig into the earth and turn it over and get rid of all the weeds and the grass and the things that we don't want growing in our garden. But notice as I turn this wheel, it turns those tines so that they can dig into the earth. The rototiller upside right side up again and just reminding you that we're going to want something to turn this wheel so that it will turn the tines underneath. Okay, so that you can see now I have attached the rototiller to where the tractor, I mean the trailer, once was. Now I want to show you something, Charlie, that I think Charlie will like. And that is, this is something that Charlie might call a cavos. This is the motor. This motor here will turn this around, but because I've attached this pulley to it, the pulley goes underneath here, underneath, here's the pulley, right here. It goes underneath the tractor, comes all the way back out here, and wraps around this pulley here that I had pointed out before. Watch what happens when I turn this pulley. If you look in the back, as I'm turning the pulley, that turns that pulley and then turns the rototiller around. You can see the rototiller moving slowly. When we turn on the engine, it'll go around very quickly and it'll dig into the earth and make our garden ready for planting. Another thing I wanted to tell you about gardening is it's good to fertilize the garden. That is, we want to add fertilizer to help the plants grow. Now, you could go to a store and buy a fertilizer, but it just so happens that there are a number of things that make good fertilizer. And one of them is the bedding from the chickens that we throw out here in front of the barn. So I'm going to take that uh, that bedding, that old used bedding that's got, oh, I'll even tell you it's got chicken poop in it, 
and that's really good fertilizer, and take it and put it in this wheelbarrow, take it out to the garden and spread it on the garden before we till it under. I am about to spread the uh, fertilizer around the garden. So you can see here that I've just about finished spreading the fertilizer around where we're going to have the garden. So, we're now ready to start rototilling. Here's the tractor all set up with the rototiller on the back. I'm going to get onto the tractor and I'm going to then pull this lever, push this lever, to start the rototiller turning. Then I will take this lever and let it down and that will drop the rototiller so that it can make contact with the ground. Right now you can see that it's not actually touching the ground. So let's get started. When I start the lawnmower, of course, it's going to make a lot of noise, but then you'll be able to see the tilling that it does. Okay. Here we go. Okay, now let's look back and see at the row that we just rotated till. So I'm going to go do this, go back and forth through this whole section, and when I'm done, the ground will all be turned up. You see how it's nice and brown here? Good soil. All turned over, ready for planting. Okay, so here is the garden after it has been rototilled.